Hey, this is Eviana Bynum with evianabynum.com and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get started with Asana. So I wanted to dive right in and um, I'm at asana.com and as you can see right here, it's app.asana.com but if you do type in asana.com to your browser, it will take you here as well. Uh, when you get registered with Asana, you have the option of using your personal email address and password or using your Google account. I recommend if you don't have a Gmail account found at mail.google.com that you should create a Google account because then you have access to Google Apps. And with Google Apps, you have Google Drive to save files. You have Google Docs where you can create spreadsheets and uh, Word documents. Uh, they're not actually Microsoft Word, but it's um, the same thing. And uh, other great things. You can create presentations, a lot of things, and you have access to them on the cloud. So you can put an app on your phone where you can access your documents as well as a lot of other features. So here's where you pretty much get started. If you want to sign up, notice right here how it says don't have an account and you click sign up and it takes you right to this page where you can put your email address right here and then get started and it takes you through the registration process. But for the purpose of saving time and since I already have an Asana account, I'm gonna log right in using my Google account. All right, so here's, I'm logging in. This is what you see as you log in. And it takes me right to my personal task list. So as you can see, this is my personal Asana account. Uh, this is, I call it avianabynum.com. When you get started, you will have a chance to create your account. And um, that's where you'll see your dashboard and everything else. So here we go. Now, here on this left-hand panel is where you're going to see all of the projects and things that you are working account. And I will just give you a quick walkthrough of each little thing. So here, evianabynum.com, my tasks, this is what you see when you click on this. It will take you to this page, and these are the tasks that are assigned to you. And I'll go a little deeper later on, but this is where, you, where you'll see them listed. Or you can create your own lists, in which I have, um, but I'll, I'll get deeper into those later. So you have the list view found right here. You have the calendar view where you will see things that have due dates. Anything that you've assigned due dates, you'll see them on the calendar. And here you will see files that you've attached to tasks or any tasks that have files attached to them. So PDFs, Word documents, and things like that. Right here on this right hand side, you will see all of the different dashboards that you're attached to. So this is my personal one, evianabynum.com. This is um, that I use for my businesses. This is a, a personal dashboard, which I don't really use because I kind of use my other one for everything. So wherever someone adds you to the, your, their, your account, this is where you will find them and you can toggle through different ones. So for the purposes of this training, I'm going to go to the 1 billion rising um, tasks. As soon as I go into this 1 billion rising t uh, dashboard, you can see that the first thing I see are my tasks. These are the ones that I have my name assigned to, which I said before, you can find them by clicking on my tasks. On my inbox, that's where you'll see comments that people have made on specific tasks. So that's kind of where you see the conversation that's going on in specific tasks when people add comments, but I'll show you those later on. Okay, so... <clears throat> if I want to see the actual project for the 1 billion rising dashboard, I'm going to click on this left hand side where here you can see there's my personal dashboard, which takes me to anything that I've added to favorites. Uh, you can see uh, recent items, all items, deleted items. And then you can also see all of the people that are attached to a certain project 
or a dashboard. But right here, we're going to go to this 1 billion rising event that I'm helping to plan. And you can see all of the tasks attached to this project. So on this left hand side, you see projects and then you'll see the list of projects. So going back to my personal Asana, you can see that I have a lot of projects. <clears throat> so look at here, I have my personal ones, I have bills, family, and then here is my stuff for evianabynum.com, which is my website. And here you can see all of the projects I have associated with that. Here's for my photography business and all of the projects that I have associated with that. So if you see, you can have unlimited projects and unlimited dashboards. Okay, so back to the 1 billion rising dashboard. So I clicked on the project and here I see all of the tasks listed. So when I refer to tasks, I'm talking about these guys. You can see the check mark next to them. Um, if you want to, for, per, for organization purposes, um, this where it says reference items, that actually used to be a, ta a task, but once you add a colon to it, it creates a, a, I would say like a category, and then under there you can list specific tasks. Each task, when you look at it, so right here, this was an expense list, you just click on it and it opens it up onto another section and here in this section you can see that under here i listed certain information that we needed to refer to and it, i just made a whole list but i can also create a task list right here of subtasks and there i can list things that need to be um added you know tasks that need to be done um for certain things so let's say create budget i can type it in and right here i can actually create a due date for that task. So let's say we want to get the budget done by January 30th, and I'm going to assign this to my co-leader, Melanie Morrison. So once I assign this to her, this is going to show up on her My Tasks. And once she checks this off, then it'll come off of here. But if we need to look at the completed task, tasks, then I will show you later on where you can see those. <clears throat> but that's just an example. Another cool thing about Asana is that you can even keep going deeper. So if there's uh, tasks that are associated with this one, you can even open it up even more. And under here, you can do another task list. You can write comments, which are shown in your inbox and all of that cool stuff. So to go back to that list, I'm going to click right here. And you can kind of see, um, it'll show you like the um, how much deeper you're going into each task. And you can click on the links. So this will take me back to the project and so on and so forth. So you can see how deep you've gone into a task. Here I've added a comment um, with some information. And that comment would show up on um, anybody's inbox, anybody who is assigned to this task. So this, this task is currently unassigned. Right. So if I want to assign it to myself, that means that I will be able to look at it in my personal dashboard in Asana. And anybody that I assign to this task, anybody who should be an onlooker or contributing to the information will be able to see this in their tasks and all and all of the comments associated with that task will show up in their inbox. Um, <clears throat> so here are some more tasks. You can see the people that are assigned to the tasks. Um, anybody that you add to this project will um, be able to see this entire project. So <clears throat> going forward, see how we've added. Um, if you want to get Asana pretty organized, then you can simply. So for follow up, I simply just it was as if I was adding another task, but I just put a colon and then it turns everything under into it's almost categorized under that follow up and see how we've organized this whole project. And then just kind of to refresh your memory, here's another one. I just click on the task and it expands into what's under that task. You see, I'm assigned to it. We can put due dates, we'll, which will show up on this calendar right here. Okay. 
Another cool feature about Asana is that you can do the search function. You can look through the tasks that you've assigned, the ones that you've created, the ones that you're following, and then also things that are completed. So in Asana, one thing that used to um, bother me before I realized this feature was that once you check an item off of a list, so if you check this off, it just disappears. (laughs) But you can actually look at completed tasks right here. And you can look at them in a calendar view or a list view. And you'll be able to see everything that's been checked off the list, everything that's been done. You can see them right there. And then just to go back, you simply click right here on the project. Okay, so I think for the purposes of this training that I have taught you exactly what you need to use Asana to get started. And then if you want to add tasks, you simply type in whatever you want to, you know, test task, task, and then you just press enter and then it just keeps going and it won't affect the category after it. Only thing that will affect a category is if you remove that colon from there. So you don't want to, if you want to keep things organized, you don't want to mess with these categories or take the colon off because then it's going to turn into this one long crazy list. All right, so I hope that this helped you out and um, it helps you to get started with Asana and then it helps you with whatever project you're creating. Have a good day.